Chances are you or someone you know has an iPhone safely protected inside a Pelican case. And Pelican, a world-renowned company owned and operated in Torrance since 1976, has become not just the leader in high-performance cases for handheld devices, rugged outdoor gear, the TV, film, and aviation industries, but in temperature-controlled packaging. So yes, in early spring 2020, when the coronavirus pandemic struck, Pelican went from a company known for protecting photo and video equipment to leading the way in transporting another type of precious cargo, vaccines and ventilators. The company's CEO, Philip Jory, joined me to discuss just how Pelican responded to the world health crisis. What a year for people personally and, of course, professionally. As the CEO of Pelican, talk to me about how your company has responded to the COVID crisis. It almost seems like, to be frank, you were in the right business at the right time. Yeah, um, I don't think any company could have predicted the kind of year we were going to have, and certainly we didn't. But I'm really p proud of our employees. They, they rose to the challenge. We adapted as the year went on, and we actually ended up having a, a pretty decent year. Part, parts of our business suffered like many businesses did during COVID, but we had other parts of our business that actually thrived. A lot of people know of Pelican for our protective cases. We ended up doing millions of millions of dollars of protective cases for portable ventilators that were completely related to the COVID pandemic and the need for respiratory equipment. And then we have a division called Pelican Biothermal. And in that division, we specialize in temperature controlled packaging, and it's really for the pharmaceutical industry. So these are cases that are used to transport temperature sensitive pharmaceuticals like vaccines. And so, as you can imagine, there were all kinds of clinical trials going on that we participated in. And then once those vaccines have become commercialized, we're now participating in the transport of the vaccines in the therapeutics and the antibodies and everything else. You guys worked with Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson is a client. Yeah, we work with almost all the large pharma companies as well as their logistics providers, their specialty logistics providers. And so all three of the ones that you mentioned, Markin is a very big customer of ours. They provide a lot of the transport for some of those big pharma companies. Pelican is also involved in the ongoing vaccine distribution efforts after retrofitting some of its products to accommodate the manufacturer's extremely low temperature requirements. How have you been able to do that based off of what you already had? Yeah, no, that's a great question. So everybody's probably heard that a couple of these vaccines, Pfizer's and Moderna's and especially Pfizer's require very, very low temperatures. These are living organisms or cells that have to be deep frozen. And the technology that we use for our transportation of pharmaceuticals is something called phase change material. And it's basically uh, using chemistry to maintain a certain temperature uh, for a, a duration of time. The phase change material that we've used historically does not go down as low as some of the temperature requirements. I believe the Pfizer was at minus 70 C. And so what we did is we retrofitted a lot of our fleet to be able to take dry ice instead of this phase change material. And that allowed it to get much lower. Everybody that's involved in this is working on getting those vaccines at what I would call more stable temperatures so that they're easier to transport. But we are actually involved in clinicals right now with Pfizer who's testing for moderate temperature ranges for their vaccine. They're just testing to make sure that the vaccine doesn't lose any of its efficacy if it's stored and transported at these more moderate temperatures. Both Pfizer and Moderna use a messenger RNA. It's not a typical kind of viral vector vaccine. And those messenger RNAs, it's kind of the, the new age way of making a vaccine. And they're the two that are requiring those really low temperatures. Messenger RNA vaccines require two shots, like a shot and then a booster shot. And they also require some pretty low temperatures for transport. The J&J &J vaccine is a more traditional vaccine. It can be transported at refrigerated temperatures and it's a single shot. So in some ways, you know, that's a game changer as well, because you can imagine 
think about like hard to reach areas, either third world countries or even rural places in America. You got to have minus 70 and two shots. That gets very complicated. Now, Pelican is not just transporting vaccines. Pelican is a trusted supplier of necessities, products used by paramedics, EMTs. We're talking frontline essentials. So of course, when COVID hit, shutting down operations was not even an option. It only accelerated it. Yeah, exactly. We're really fortunate. We were deemed an essential business. So our manufacturing operations have continued throughout. Most of our office staff, we moved them to work from home, but our factories continued to make our cases and our lights and our temperature control packaging throughout the pandemic. Any products that are for first responders or the healthcare industry, and so cases that are, like you just said, are, that are used by EMTs, we have field desks that can be set up for remote hospitals or remote vaccination sites. All those kinds of products have done extremely well. We're even being asked if our premium coolers can be used for kind of the last mile of distribution or storage for the vaccine. So not part of the biothermal division, but our classic Pelican division, we sell coolers like you, you take to the beach, but ours are like coolers on steroids. And so they're looking at maybe using these coolers for, for part of the vaccine storage and distribution even. Just a year ago, it would have been difficult to imagine our world facing a crisis like we're in today. So as the world continues to work together to get rid of this virus, one of Pelican's missions is to make sure you and your family are prepared for what may come. On your website, Pelican gives an anatomy of your Pelican preparedness kit. Walk me through it. Yeah, you're right. When a disaster like the pandemic hits, it's really our turn to step up and make sure that we're helping people protect themselves and their families and, and our employees. And so as part of that, we put together a COVID preparedness kit and put it up on the website to help people understand the kinds of things that they might need at their disposal not just Pelican products, but other things that could be t contained in a Pelican product. It's a little bit like, you know, a lot of people have earthquake preparedness kits. So that's what we did. And so, you know, we're, we're making suggestions to include obviously lights and some dehydrated food and first aid kits and that kind of stuff. And then we're walking you through the various suggestions for how to get your family all set in case case you need it. With a light at the end of the tunnel, seemingly in eyesight with the virus, Pelican Products Inc. is gearing up to commemorate its 45th year in business and commitment to its vision of protecting all that you value, which nowadays is a saying that means oh so much. It takes a lot of forms and fashions, right? So protecting all that you value, that might be somebody's camera that they've made a huge investment in and they want to make sure that it, it's protected. It might be documents that are very important to your family or a piece of artwork, or it might be vaccines that a pharmaceutical company is transporting and has a high, high degree of value. So it's the whole bunch of stuff, but that kind of umbrella is across everything that we do and it's kind of all our call to arms internally. 45 years is a big deal. How is the company celebrating? Well, we're gonna do a lot of things internally, but yeah, it's 45 years, 45 years in Torrance. So the company was started by an entrepreneur in 1976, a guy named Dave Parker. Dave just passed away last year. He ran this company for many decades and built it from his garage to what is almost a $500 million company. And quite the American success story. You know, he was a scuba enthusiast. And so he just designed some products that he wished he'd had when he was scuba diving. So from that humble beginning, came Pelican products. And we now have about 1,600 employees. We're all over the world. Our headquarters is still here in Torrance. We employ about 600 people here in Torrance. We run a factory right out back from where I'm sitting that runs three shifts a day. And so, yeah, we're gonna celebrate with our employees, acknowledge key contributors. We're gonna do giveaways. We're gonna have a whole series of events celebrating that throughout the year. You know, it's probably bigger news to us than the rest of the world, but it's still quite an accomplishment and one we want to enjoy. You should be celebrating because look what you're doing for everyone during this horrible time for vaccines, COVID, you should be celebrating. Thank you. And you know what? I think our employees have a lot of pride about their contributions. So I appreciate that.